back in my garage now, I'm in my workshop and uh, I'm on part four of my magneto uh, repair and rebuild. Um, in part one and two, I've shown you how I repair, cosmetically repaired the magneto body uh, on the end here and on the points casting. And then in part three, I've shown you how I assembled the my newly rewound uh, armature back into a rotor and, uh, and how I was going to fit it all back together well I've now done that as you can see it's all back together um, I made this pulley for end ready to go on my test rig and just fitted that so that's where I'm up to now and I, I've built a test rig in my Harrison lathe to test this um, yeah, but, but before I go on to that, I just wanted to mention my newly, ra my newly rewound armature. I did that in my Martha lathe, and that's another nine parts, a, a series of nine part videos. If anybody were interested in it, it's how I made a coil winding machine for my Martha lathe. And uh, I made a vacuum impregnate, a vacuum chamber to impregnate the coil and I wound it. And it's the first time I've ever done this to a magneto. Uh, so I've been on a bit of a learning curve and if anybody's interested, my first nine videos, like I said, are on that Myford coil winder mainly. So this is part four of this little series that I'm doing on the rebuild. And uh, what I'll do next, I'll take you over to Harrison Lathe and, and show you test rig that I've made and then we'll fit this in test rig. And... Uh, and well, try it. So I'll see you over at Harrison Lathe then. Right, I'm over at my lathe now and I'm just going to quickly go through this test rig that I've made, if anybody's interested. Uh, I'll pick the camera up now because it's, it won't quite reach over my lathe to show you. So you'll have to just bear with a little bit of juddering here. So what I've done, I've took my tool post off my Harrison Lathe, as you can see. And I've made this test rig up. It's from a piece of a robust angle iron. I've uh, welded a couple of uh, fixtures on end so my magneto can be bolted in. It's got an earth wire going to it. And then on this end, uh, it's got an adapter bolted on to take my spark plugs. And my magneto bolts onto this end. And then I've got a pulley in my chuck which will go on to that pulley on my, um, on my uh, magneto that you've just seen and that will make it uh, a ratio of just uh, just over 2 to 1 uh, so it will be going just a bit more than twice as fast as my lathe will go when I'm on full speed so I'll just fit this uh, magneto now into it test rig and then we'll have a look at it running Here we are then, uh, I've got the magneto bolted into the test rig now, I've just got to fit the belt and uh, just to tension the belt up, you, just, you just have to, to tension the belt you just have to move cross slide over to the right tension. So, right then, it's been a bit of a long haul this project but we've finally got there, I've rewound armature, I've Re repaired the body to the, the magneto and uh, I've rebuilt it all so now now for the the final proof if it's going to work or not so here we go then I'll start the lathe up Spark. Can't really see it very well in this light on camera. So what's happening then? I've, I've got my lathe going uh, at, a, at a medium speed, and my pulley's going to be going on the ma magneto twice as fast as the lathe. So when I put it onto top speed, uh, my magneto will be going about between two and two thousand and two thousand five hundred RPM. Now when it's on bike, 
it only goes at half speed at engine, so if we say an average speed, sp engine speed of 4,000, magneto is going about 2,000, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, today I'm going to let this run for a couple of hours to test it at different speeds. So uh, I'll just pick camera up and show you, show you it running now. And I've put that bright spark easy cap condenser in. So now I've done away with my condenser in the in the back of the magneto. It's now in the front near the points. Well, on the points. And that seems to be working okay. And what I've done here, I've put an air feed on onto spark plug holder just to belt and brace it. So I'm, I know I'm getting in air. I think what I'm going to do now, I'll pull this camera back down steadily and I'll just turn the lights off in your workshop so you can see that spark on, on plugs better. Yeah, that, that, that seems to be working fine. Just before I go back to my marking off table, I'll, to finish the video off, I'll just show it you on top speed. So Magneto is going to be going about two and a half thousand revs here, which is uh, equivalent to five thousand revs on to on bike. Oh, and just a quick point, I've had to run lathe in reverse because this magne magneto's anti-clockwise rotation. Yeah, I've, I've decided to leave magneto in my lathe now because uh, I'm going to. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to. I'm going to test it for a long period of time, probably two to three hours, just to prove that everything is working okay. And I, I'm I'm really pleased with how it's gone because. That's the first time I've seen it running when I've just tried it uh, on video. So it's sparking, a nice blue spark, and, and it's really working well, and uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So that that's it now with this, I think. Uh, I think everything's completed now. I, I ju I'll just recap by saying I've never, I've never touched a magneto to this extent before. I've... I've totally, it's a spare one this for my BSA and what I've done, I've totally stripped it down and I've, I've rewound the coil myself and if you look at my, my video uh, prior to this, it's a nine part series on how I did a coil winding machine, how I built my coil winding fixture and my vacuum chamber and if you want to take a look at that, that that's where it is. Um, I'll apologise for the first three videos in that because I never intended to actually video this project and I did it on my, on my cheap phone and the first three videos were a bit bit erratic if if I can put it that way. But if you can, if you can bear through that it's interesting. So yeah, <coughs> that's me. That's my first series of videos on the rewind of the coil. And then this this little part was a four part series on uh, on repairing cosmetically repairing body and assembling it 
and testing it and that's now complete so anyway I hope it's been of interest to you and I hope it helps somebody because it is an interesting project to do and I know it can be very stressful at times uh, especially doing them 11,000 coils of wire with that very fine wire on that, on that coil on the armature but with a bit of time and a bit of patience if you just if you just take your time it, it, anything's possible so that's the end of that project for now but just one other little thing before before I do go when I when I started to build this magneto there were a couple of parts missing and I, I think as you've seen it as you've seen in my previous part I'd, I'd I've renewed all the, the wearable parts and a few parts that were missing. I don't know that. But one one thing that were missing were the cam ring which goes on points which is there. Now I made that in my uh, in my machine shop and I've only got a, a, a tiny miller which is probably older than me. And it's it's not really very accurate an accurate milling machine to work on. It, it produces accurate work, but it's got no digital readouts or anything. Now I made this cam in that miller, and I might just show you how I did that on a on a budget milling machine. And what I did, uh, I took my original one out, my, my magneto on my motorbike, and I did an identical copy. So that's it there, and that's working in me, me magneto over here now. So I might do a little project on showing you how me, me, uh, me budget milling machine achieved that intricate cami, if I can put it like that. So anyway, I hope it's been interesting, and uh, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll catch you on my next project.